Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to learn how to create this awesome login form using just html and css from scratch and i will explain each and every step to you guys so make sure to watch the tutorial completely and also i will keep uploading awesome tutorials related to web development and web designing so make sure you are subscribed to this channel and before starting the tutorial let me tell you guys that this youtube channel is in collaboration with newton school you can check out their website the link is in description and also let's see what exactly is newton school let's see what is newton school so newton school is a platform which prepares you for your career in tech it has courses designed for working professionals freshers and even people with no tech background Okay so even if you are from a non tech background you can also join this platform and you can make your career in tech Newton school will first train you for 6 months and will help you to become an amazing full stack developer now you might be thinking whether this platform is free or not so let me tell you the best part of this platform that is you don't have to pay Newton school anything until and unless you are placed with a minimum 5 lakh ctc I repeat guys you don't have to pay Newton school anything for this 6 months full stack developer training until and unless you are placed with a minimum 5 lakh ctc and i believe this type of training program is that what we need and on their website you can see they have something called the launchpad so launchpad is basically an initiative taken by Newton school for the people who want to start their programming journey from scratch and that too for absolutely free of cost you can go to launchpad anytime and you can practice quizzes there you can learn basics of different programming languages and also you can do as much as assignments you want to do launchpad is completely free now let's start coding our login form so let's start coding our login form and i have basic boilerplate here and also i had opened the output for our reference so let's start creating our login form so the very first thing that we need is this form container okay so let's create that so i will use a div for that and i will give it a class of form container and in that form container we need several elements the very first element is our form heading so let's create that i will use h4 tag for that and i will give it a class of form heading and i will write the form heading inside it that is create account and also let's create an element for this thing basically that says already have an account sign in okay so let's create an element for that so i will use a p tag here and i will give it a class of sign in text okay so let's close that and let me copy and paste it now we have to create this input elements basically we have to create the form now okay so i will use the form tag here i will use the form tag and i will give it a class of login form and inside that form let's see what we need so we need a input element for username input element for first and last name and an input element for email and at last we need a submit button okay or you can say sign up button so let's quickly create them i will use the input tag and i will give it a place holder you can see the place holder here is username so i will write username here and i will close the input tag and now here you can see the first and last name are in one row okay so what i will do is i will group them in a single container okay so i will create a div to group them and i will give it a class of name inputs okay and in this name inputs i will include the first name and last name so let's include 
first name as placeholder and also last name for placeholder and also we are missing one thing the types we have to include type also okay so the type will be text for username first name and the last name okay and now let's also create a input element for our email so i will copy and paste it and this time instead of text since it's an email so i will write a email okay and the placeholder will be email uh let also create button okay so i will create a button for sign up so i will use a button tag and i will give it a class of sign up btn and inside that basically i will write sign up and also as you can see we have an arrow here okay so let's include that it's basically a font awesome icon so let's import font awesome using cdn so i will use cdn js from here you can import the font awesome using its cdn so i will search font awesome here and i will open the font awesome and i will copy the link tag okay so i will paste it into our head tag and now we can feel free to use font awesome icons okay so let's open font awesome.com i need the arrow icon so i will search for arrow and let's see what icon we want so arrow right was the icon that we want so i will open it and i will copy the html part and i will paste it here okay so now you can see we got our arrow icon so we are done with our markup as you can see we have included all the elements so we have our form heading you can see we have our sign in text and we have input elements for username first name last name and email as you can see here we have input element for username input element for first name last name and also for email and also at last we have button element for our sign up button okay so we are done with the markup let's quickly design our form with css so first things first we will start with a basic reset i will use the universal selector to target all the elements and i will give margin 0 to them padding 0 to them and box sizing of border box okay and also let's give background color to our body tag i will give it a background color of hashtag 131313 okay now let's come to our form container so i will target the form container and i will give it a background color of hashtag fe 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 and what i want is basically i want to center this form container okay as you can see i want to center it in within the body okay i want to center form container within the body so let's center it so what i will do is basically i will give main height of 100 vh to body tag and to center the form container i will use display flex on body tag justify content center to align our form container to horizontally center and align item center to align it vertically center you can see our form container is in center now now let's style our form container and its elements okay so we want some spacing around all the sides of our form container so i will give it a padding of 25 pixel from top and bottom and 40 pixel from left and right also we need some border radius so i will give it a border radius of 20 pixel and we are done with our form container let's style our form heading so i will copy the form heading and i will target that using the class selector and the form heading basically we want it in the center so i will use text align center and we want to change its font okay so basically 
we want to use poppins font in our form container in our basically we want poppins font in all of our form container elements so let's quickly import poppins font okay so i will open google fonts you can see we want poppins font so i will open the poppins font and we want basically three font weights i want the bold one i want the regular and also i want the light one okay so i will copy the link tag and i will paste it in our head tag and also let's copy the font family part and i will paste it in body tag and since i am pasting it in body tag all the elements will inherit from body okay so you can see all of our element got bobbins font because they are inheriting the font family from body okay now let's see what else we want to do we want to basically we want to give form heading a font size so we will give it a font size of 35 pixel and now let's style our sign in text so i will target sign in text so let's target sign in text and i also want it to center so i will again use text align center i want to change its color also okay but i want the same color in form heading also and sign in text also so what i will do is basically i will combine the both selector using comma and i will give the similar styles that i wanted to give so we have text align center in both of them so what we can do is basically we can remove them and we can add in here okay so in this way text align center will get applied to both of the elements and also we want the same color that is hashtag #1313 okay and also i want the text transform to be capitalized in both of them okay so we don't need now sign in text and what else we want to do in sign in text let's see so we want to style our sign in link i think we haven't uh, use anchor tag here so let's say so let's use anchor tag because we want the sign in to be a link okay so i will use a anchor tag here so i had used anchor tag here because we want the sign in to be a link okay so user can go to that link and can sign in so let's style our link tag in our sign in text so basically i will target the a inside sign in text and i want the color to be hashtag #ff7a00 okay so now we are also done with our form heading and sign in text now let's move on to our form okay so i will target our form and we want some spacing from above of form you can see we want some spacing from top of it so i will target the login form and i will give it a margin top of i will give it a margin top of 50 pixel okay you can see we got some spacing from top of the our login form and now let's style our input elements so i will target the input element inside our login form so let's style our input elements the very first thing that i want to do is basically i want to give them width of 100% because you can see uh, they are not acquiring 100% width so let's give 100% width and now you can see they will acquire 100% width and also i want to give them some padding so i will give it a padding of 15 pixel from top 10 pixel from right 15 pixel from bottom and 20 pixel from left okay so we have given the padding and also just to tell you guys that the input and button in any form doesn't inherit font family property from parent okay so you can see they are not inheriting the poppins font from body tag so what you can do is basically you can copy the font family from the body tag and you can paste it in the 
input tag and button tag but as i have taught you in the last video that you can use inherit keyword here so later if you want to change the font family the inherit keyword will basically inherit the font family whatever font family you had used in the parent element okay so it's better to use inherit keyword here and also let's see what else we want to do so we want to change the background color of our input so i will change the background color and i want the background color to be e7 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 okay and i don't want any borders okay so i will use border property and i will give none to it okay so now you can see this is what our input element is looking i also want to give our input elements a border radius so let's give them a border radius of 15 pixel okay and what else i want to do is basically you can see they have some spacing below them okay so let's give them spacing below them so what we can do is basically oh it's border radius so let's give them some spacing below them so i will give them a margin bottom of 15 pixel and now you can see we got some spacing below them okay and also you can see in the login form that first name and last name are in one row okay and that is why basically we have included them in one container so that we can align them easily in one row okay so i will target the name inputs and i will give it display flex so that our first name and last name will be align in one row you can see and we also want spacing here so what i will do is i will target the first child of name inputs okay so let's do that i want the first input child basically and i want margin right of 15 pixel so you can see we got some spacing here so basically i have target the first input child of name inputs so we are pretty much done with our login form only our button is left so let's quickly style it so i will target our sign up button and let's style our sign up button so first thing i want to give some spacing from above it so i will use margin top i will give it a margin top of 40 pixel and i want padding i will give it a padding of 16 pixel from top and bottom and 64 pixel from left and right okay so you can see we got some padding and i also want the text transform to be capitalized i want the background color to be hashtag #ff7a00 i want the border to be 2 pixel solid and hashtag #ff7a00 in color you can see what our button is looking like currently we also want some border radius so let's give border radius i want to give it a border radius of 15 pixel and i want the color to be hashtag #fff that is completely white and i also want to give it a font size of 20 pixel let's also give it a letter spacing of 1 pixel so this is what our button is looking like currently let's also change the cursor i want the cursor to be pointer so we have changed the cursor now you can see the cursor is now pointer and now style our arrow element what i want is basically i want to give it some spacing from the left side so what i will do is basically i will target the i element in our sign up button that is our arrow icon and i will give it a margin left of 5 pixel okay and now i also want to align them both in vertically center 
they are small now that is why you can't see that they are aligned in center or not but if i will increase the font size you can clearly see that they are not aligned vertically centered okay so uh, let me give it a bigger font size let's say 45 pixel and now you can see that they are not aligned vertically so what i will do is basically i will use display flex on our sign up button and i will use align items center with it and now you can see the arrow and sign up text is vertically aligned center okay and let's center our button so i will use so basically to center the button you have to give auto margin from left and right okay so i will remove this margin value and i will write the margin shorthand as we saw we need 40 pixel from top okay and we want auto from left and right to center our button and we want zero margin from bottom okay and now you can see our button is in center i have zoomed my browser so let's check it out at 100% and you can see the form is looking good and let's also reduce the font size of our arrow and now you can see that our form is looking good so that's it but you can also add a hover effect on the sign up button if you want to so let's see how can we do that so i will target our sign up button and i will style it when we will hover so what i want when i will hover our sign up button is basically i want to make the background transparent and i want the border sorry i want the color to be hashtag #ff7a00 okay let's see what we get when we hover our sign up button so this was what we want but but you can see it's a sudden effect so let's use transition in our sign up button so i will write transition property here and i will give transition to all the property for now and i want the transition duration to be 0.3 seconds and now you can see the effect is smooth okay so our login form is complete and you can see that this was so much easy to create we have just gone through step by step and style our form elements and other form container elements okay so this was so much easy to do this was it for this video i hope you guys like this login form and also i hope you all understood every step but still if you have any doubts related to any step feel free to comment down below and if you like the explanation please give this video a thumbs up and join me in this web development journey by subscribing to our channel more awesome tutorials are coming so stay tuned with this channel and also don't forget to check out about newton school the link to their website is in description and i will see you guys in the next video